My name is Frank Oliver and this is my story. I'm 55 years old, I've uh, grown up in Lafayette. Um, we've always chose Saney e as uh, for any of our health needs throughout uh, life. Actually, as it turns out, I went to nursing school at St. E back in the 70s for a short period of time. I didn't finish because I fell in love with photography and changed, uh, changed directions in life. And uh, ended up getting a full-time job at the Journal and Courier, worked there for 25 years, and then along came my dream job, which was uh, one of two photography positions at the Indiana Department of Natural Resources. So I spent a lot of time in the most beautiful parts of state of Indiana with my camera and just absolutely love it. I have a bit of a parallel life going. I have a second job as a medic in the Air Force Reserve. Uh, I have 18 and a half years in. In November, I was headed over for my weekend's duty to, to Dayton. Not a care in the world. Everything was fine. I felt 100% normal. So I started to jog across the parking lot. Um, it was a very light jog and completely out of nowhere. All of a sudden, a tightening in the chest. Being a medic and never having that feeling before, I stopped and I knew, oh my gosh, all of a sudden, there, that's not supposed to happen. As soon as I got home from duty that weekend, very quickly, I got scheduled for a stress test at St. Elizabeth East. I uh, promptly failed that stress test miserably, and I immediately got scheduled to go into the cath lab. So after getting out of the cath lab and, and learning that I, I needed to schedule open heart surgery, um, I was getting settled into a bed when completely out of nowhere I lost consciousness. When I woke up my wife said it had been a good couple of minutes and, and she of course was standing over me in tears and then uh, sure enough again I lost consciousness sometime, I don't know, remember the time frame exactly, but I lost consciousness again. After that, when I woke up the second time, it was Dr. Cola standing over me. And uh, words that I'll never forget that he used were, I, I fear that we're about to have something catastrophic happen. The chances of saving your life are very, very slim if we don't get this fixed and we don't get it fixed right now. So as things are swirling around in the room, I don't know if he was a nurse or what his job was exactly. As they were preparing me, he noticed that I had a cross around my neck and he, he very simply asked me, he said, are you a man of faith? I see your cross. And I said, absolutely I am. He said, uh, can, can we take a moment to pray together? And um, I, I was just amazed and, and it just, it was wonderful to, to have somebody notice something. Uh, a little detail like that, and I said, well, by all means, I'm not sure that you would get that at every hospital you go to. It was exactly what I needed at that point. Um, after that, uh, suddenly I had this peace about me, and it was a wonderful uh, moment and, and a great thing to be able to take into the operating room. After coming out of surgery, it didn't take long before I realized that it had been pretty traumatic on me. Uh, all I wanted to do, all I felt like doing, of course, was just laying there. The medical personnel there at St. E weren't going to allow that to happen. Uh, I was up out of bed very quickly. The people at St. E Central, they instill a lot of confidence in you. They take you at a, at a very good pace and build you up to where you, you really feel like you're accomplishing something and regaining uh, that strength you had as an adult before, before all this happened. Well, I'm back to work full-time with the Department of Natural Resources right now. My last remaining goal uh, toward what I think would be full recovery is to get back into the Air Force Reserve. As dramatic as it sounds, and I don't mean to sound overly dramatic, things happened perfectly that day on November 8th, the day of my surgery. Uh, if the right decisions at the right time, at the right place by the right people hadn't been made, I wouldn't be here. Uh, it's you can't ignore that. You, you realize you really, true, truly do have a second chance, and, and I'm going to take full advantage of that for sure.